Well, hi again, everybody. Welcome to my latest video. This is going to be part five of the rebuild or the replacement build of my primary editing rig. This is the PC I've been building in the previous four parts. One part was actually done live stream, as some of you may recall. And this will actually replace an existing machine that I've already pulled some parts out of downstairs. That's an Intel 8700K. Now, that particular one does have some fast drives to it, which will wind up in this PC. It has uh, a Samsung M2 drive, and it has a pair of uh, Western Digital Blue drives that are set up in RAID 0, which basically doubles their speed by doing it that way. Anyway, as you may recall from my previous series, this is my primary streaming rig and my secondary editing rig. So this one is primary editing, secondary streaming, so they reverse roles and back each other up depending on the particular purpose that I need it for. This one will actually live downstairs in my secondary studio because that's usually where I'm sitting when I'm editing my videos. Well, this video, I'm going to do a performance test. Run the same set of tests on both of them. No direct game titles, though, however. I don't know enough about some of those games to do an adequate test. But in addition to that, I don't want to leave somebody out that was waiting for a particular performance. Whereas using the standardized performance measurements, I can get a better measurement between the two, regardless of what game you want to run. And uh, I'd like to go ahead and start uh, testing it. Hopefully you get something out of this video that you like. And if you do, if you could at least consider subscribing to my channel, as my shirt here says, right? I would really appreciate it. So let's get started. Okay, let me start the clock and then I will start. So right now I'm actually timing how long it takes to render this 45 minute video. Okay, now that completes it. I'll do the same test on the other one and we'll see what happens here, okay? And this screenshot shows the timing results of my new editing rig on the same test. Well, that completes the 3D Mark testing. Uh, pretty good score. It says it got uh, 42,005 total, and then it gives the individual results. And it says that uh, we've done better than 99% of all results. So I think we did very well. And here are the 3D Mark results for my brand new editing rig. Did pretty good, actually. Okay, now we're running Heaven, and we'll see how that works out. Hit F9. It is now benchmarking. Okay, that concludes it. We got a uh, score of 10,224, average FPS of 405. That's really good. And here are the results from my new primary editing rig. Score of 9745 and an average FPS of 386.9. And that's fairly good, better than I expected. Now we're going to run the Cinebench test, release 20. Let's see how this thing performs. That's really good. This thing actually beat some of the uh, earlier thread rippers. Let's compare it to the other one now. This one got 82, 25 points. This is the Cinebench results of my new editing rig. This is where it really showed its uh, lack of cores being a problem. We only got 48, 74 points in this case. Okay, let's try the drive C and then the drive E performance testing using Crystal Dismark. So we're starting with drive C. Well, that's pretty good. Obviously, this is a pretty fast M2. But I believe the M2 that I have in my other computer will actually do better than this. But let me check the drive E as well. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, all done. That's about what I expected from an external solid state drive. Now these are the same tests that I performed on my new editing rig. The one on the left is drive C, which is an M2 NVMe that's from Samsung. And the one on the right is a dual Western Digital Blue solid state two and a half inch drive that are in RAID 0. As you can see, the RAID 0 really makes a big performance improvement. But overall, these disk performance tests uh, outdo the ones on my backup editing rig. Here are the summary charts for all of the performance testing that I did between these two systems. In the first one, I show the video rendering test. And as you can see, I'm a little bit surprised why the backup AMD rig didn't do that much better than my primary Intel rig. I mean, there's a lot more cores in there. Then we went on to the 3D Mark test, and in this one, yes, the new AMD rig outperformed the new Intel rig, but by not a lot, a little bit closer than I would have thought. And then on this one, they were almost dead heats when you think about it. The Heaven benchmark, although the AMD rig did beat out probably by about 10%, it didn't beat out as big as I would have thought it would have done. Then on this slide, we had Cinebench, and this is where the AMD rig with all the extra cores and other features of AMD blew away the Intel rig. Then we moved on to Crystal Disk Mark, first of Drive C, which is the NVMe drives. As you can see, the Intel rig did quite well there, although the AMD rig did show a better performance in the write speed. And then this is a standard SSD, and this is where we had a big difference again, but in reverse order. The primary Intel rig doubled the performance pretty much of the AMD backup rig because primarily I'm using RAID 0 on two two and a half inch drives. Well, that concludes part five of my new build of my new PC for editing and my backup streaming rig. What'd you think? Well, quite honestly, I was a little surprised by how well this thing did with the actual rendering of the videos. It was extremely close to the other one, and that one has many more cores to it. So I'm a little bit surprised by that, but I guess not because the disk drives that I've rolled into this from the previous model are the faster disk drives than this one currently has. Now I did this video not just to match them up and come up with some, some delta between them, quite honestly, but I'm gonna have these machines for quite a while in their roles. At least that's the plan right now. Therefore, I'm gonna be doing upgrades to them in the future. So now I have a pretty good idea of where the upgrades need to be made. This one needs faster disk drives. This one probably needs more memory or faster memory. So that's an important consideration as I proceed into moving forward with them. So hopefully you got something out of this video that you found useful or you just generally liked. And if you did, if you could at least subscribe to my channel or at least consider it, I would really appreciate it. So until the next time, take care, stay healthy, and stay safe.